Something that we have all been waiting for for the Apple TV is finally here on tvOS 18.2 and in this video we are going to be looking at exactly just that among other more new features and changes. Going into my Apple TV settings right here you can see in the, this section if I go in the system tab right there and go to software update and check for an update you can see an update is available and this is the latest beta of tvOS 18.2 beta 3 and it comes in with the build number 22k5148a i'll quickly download and install the update and it's gonna take about two minutes to be able to update but just to keep you in the loop this is not all that apple released today you can see on the apple developer page right here alongside tvOS 18.2 apple also released vision os 2 2.2 beta 3 unfortunately there's no ios 18.2 beta 4 or mac os or watch os so only these two updates tv os and vision os were released but in this video we're just going to focus on tv os 18.2 beta 3 my device has now been updated and if i go into my system settings right there and go to where it says system all the way down and go to software update and check for an update right there you can see your apple tv is up to date and the build number you can see it right there it's good that this build number ends with an a because in terms of stability and official release it means that we are approaching an official release release date and an official update pretty soon so in terms of what this update has to offer or what's new with this update this hasn't yet been changed with the new features that this update has to offer but if we go back i have some good news for you because if you're on your apple tv homepage just like this and then you press the back button which most users know when you press the back button just like this it goes to your screensaver and then when you swipe up it goes to show you which screensaver you have selected and right there i only had these three which were the uh, aerials the memories and slideshow and portraits but then after updating to this new update that has an a build you can see we have this snoopy screensaver and this is one that a lot of people had requested and you can see snoopy is doing different animation and you can see snoopy and the beagle basically you know playing around and doing different things and here when you are selecting the screensaver on this page they only seem to be trying to cover each other to see who's at the forefront but that's not all because if we select the screensaver like this you can see how it becomes full screen and now you can see after some time it begins to do different animations they are playing some football or american football in a way and you can see how this is and as you keep this screensaver on you are going to see many different animations of course and this one is one that's one of them and the more i leave it on for longer the more they are going to be doing different animations i'm going to leave this screensaver on for some time so that you can see the different animations that it has and how long it takes and you get to see what snoopy has to offer in terms of different animations and i'll fast forward of course so that you can see the difference the difference and the updates that it has and as it goes through the different animations sometimes there's a transition between each animation which is easy to spot when it has switched from one animation to another but one thing that i'm waiting and curious to see and find out for this screensaver is to see whether it's dynamic in a way that we have on the apple watch because snoopy on the apple watch is dynamic if you have something in your calendar it will mimic that activity if you have or are in an area where it's raining snowing then snoopy will show you an animation doing that if it's morning time or if it's bedtime snoopy will mimic sleeping time if it's christmas if it's a certain holiday snoopy will mimic that so you can see the different animations that snoopy has on the apple tv and yeah this is one of the requested features and you can see that finally this is here going into the device right here and into the settings you can see here when we go to the screensaver section right there 
you now have more so we have screensaver preferences where you can choose areas memories and portraits for some reason screensaver preference snoopy doesn't show up but you can see the slideshow shows up and the portraits too shows up right there but there is no snoopy for some reason under the preferences but then if you go to the top where it says current selection right there you can see snoopy is the one that's selected and memories and portraits are synchronizing so this is another alternative way that you can select snoopy as a screensaver from your settings menu something too that has been added with this update if you go into your settings and you go to video and audio right there before it would just say aspect ratios and it would show you automatic but now it says enable one aspect ratios and then when you click on it you have the ability to choose automatic aspect ratio and now you can see the 21 by 9 aspect ratio support that has been added if i select it for my device you can see how it looks but if you have a supported monitor or device then the aspect ratio that works with your tv or your projector you most likely be able to find it and once you've selected the one that's the default for your device you can see to say enable wide aspect ratios this is new wording before it would just say auto like i mentioned and if i click there again you can see on the aspect ratio even though apple only mentioned the 21 by 9 aspect ratio support they've also added 2.37 by 1 2.39 by 1 they've also added 2.40 by 1 dci 4k and 32 by 9 so most of these aspect ratios are ones that you can either select automatically and the system will adjust accordingly or you can choose manually the one that works for you keep in mind the from the time i was doing research for this video i realized that snoopy was having a hard time optimizing for different devices if the aspect ratio was not set to automatic something else too that has been added and is slowly being improved with each tvos 18 point update that we are getting is siri so now siri has the ability to do more commands on device and you can go into your settings in general and under this section on siri you have the ability to turn on siri and choose a specific language and you have the ability to listen for hey siri on airpods and if you have the newly updated airpods pro 2 or the newly released airpods 4 among the latest versions then you also have the ability to quickly silence notifications or accept incoming calls from using gesture support with your head without having to stand up or walk around to look for the remote which adds on the convenience and something that's welcome in the apple tv app where apple is strongly advertising silo this new show you can see here apple has slightly improved the dialogue and when you click on it right there you can choose enhance dialogue to turn it on on hands or you can say enhance more and when you choose that section you have more options that you can choose from and this was existing but with each show it seems to be improving as apple is using machine learning to be able to separate the dialogue from the background sounds such as cars or noise and this is something that's good and at the same time the quick captions are being improved with each update so if i was to go like forward for example and then press play if i press back just like this you can see it automatically turns on subtitles for about 10 seconds which is a fix before this was a hit and miss and now it just works or alternatively when your show is playing you can press and hold the siri button and say what did they just say you can see it jumps back about 10 seconds and automatically turns on subtitles which was a hit and miss but this issue has been resolved listed under some of the resolved issues with this update are some screensaver fixes and some of those have to do with the portraits and the memories and slideshow so so if you're having issues with your memories and slideshows not loading up your picture this issue has been resolved according to apple alongside the portraits which are now able to select albums and that's something that you can now begin to use once you've updated to this new version of tvos 18.2 in the release notes for this update you can see here apple doesn't really tell us much you can see they have a few resolved issues when it comes to swift ui and that's just about it 
but there are other couple related changes such as in Vision OS 2.2, the latest update, it now supports the ultra wide and wide Mac virtual display, meaning that you can now play video and audio spatially through the Apple Vision Pro headset itself and watching or consuming Apple TV content will certainly be improved. Now, those are some of the features that are here with this update, but it doesn't bring all the new features we were promised in June for tvOS 18. For example, we are still waiting for the robot vacuum support in the home app. We are also waiting for the new Apple TV original screen savers based on original Apple TV shows, which we haven't yet seen. So that will be another screen saver preference that we'll be able to select and choose according to our need and at the same time the HDMI pass through I haven't been able to see it and it's not implemented in this update now that vision always has passed through the Mac on the Apple TV application has HDMI audio pass through but on the Apple TV itself the device that's used to consume Apple TV content for visual improvements and audio improvements the pass through is not yet there so if that's something you want to see definitely send feedback to apple but other than that that's how this tvos 18.2 has been for me on my device if you like this video hit the like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video peace